Marco and Prince Harry now do not want totally private life after Royal split. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry do not want a totally private life since stepping down as senior members of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from being senior royals earlier this year. However, the couple are not seeking a totally private life, instead a public life with more privacy than before. Royal expert Victoria Murphy explained how the Sussexes want a different kind of public life. She wrote in a town and country, Meghan and Harry have taken the royal family, the media, and the public into uncharted territory with their decision to walk away from royal life. They have stepped back not in search of a totally private life, but for a different kind of public life. A public life where they can have more control over who gets access to them and what they spend their time on. The Duke and Duchess focus will be on using their high-profile status to promote their new charitable organization, Archwell. The source told Town and Country, they are hands-on, working non-stop on the development of Archwell and is giving them a lot of energy. They want to see positive and substantive change happen in this world, and they want to lift up the voices and platforms of dynamic and diverse leaders of all kinds who are already making that change a reality. They want to focus on supporting and strengthening community. In a lot of ways, what people have been seeing is Archwell already in motion and there is a lot to come. Royals are expected to be open about different aspects of their lives as they receive money from taxpayers and work to serve the public. But the Sussex's decision to step down as senior royals highlighted their aim to lead a more private life. Although the couple publicized their wedding in 2018, they chose to keep their son's birth and christening private by not inviting the press. Since stepping down as senior royals and moving to Los Angeles, the Sussexes have kept their personal life secret. Miss Murphy said, in their endeavors, Harry and Meghan won't be branding themselves as royal, but it is impossible to erase the ties that in Harry's case, a lifelong. They retain some royal patronages, have a huge profile that exists because of the royal family, and most significantly, the royal family is their family. The Duchess of Sussex recently spoke at the Gender Equality Summit 2020 Go Up. She told delegates to challenge lawmakers, leaders, and executives to make them uncomfortable. She said the discomfort would create the conditions to reimagine our standards. The Duchess said women regularly get verbally brushed off from those in power and is experienced in the moments will challenge the norms. She added, so if that the, that's the case, I say to you, keep challenging, keep pushing, make them a little uncomfortable. Because it's only in that discomfort that we actually create the conditions to reimagine our standards, our policies, our leadership. We move towards real representation and meaningful influence over the structures of decision making and power. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also spoke to young leaders recently for the Queen's Commonwealth Trust.